Hello there guys everyone, this is the Big Man of Zeno 6 saying welcome back and let's play Mega Man 5. Last time we beat Venus and Dark Moon. Now originally I was going to go after Pluto next, but due to a guy I found on GameFAQs, I want to get the stones. I'm going to go after Jupiter next, who's weak against... Since I forgot what the name of the weapon was, the Bubble Bomb. Apparently his ancestor was either Shade Man or Storm Eagle, so save state here. Her and I have not beaten this stage in my regular run through, so, so this and some of the other stages except Pluto stage is blind to me. So let's see. Tun Fuck, I hate this enemy. That's an electric Joe. I think he was called a different name. And Fuck you, magnet enemy. And I forgot. And the name of the weapon is not called the... And the name of the upgrade I have is called the Magnet Hand. Frick. Yeah, it's called the Magnet Hand. Oh, I'm so pissed off. Oh, one thing. You know as Mars' energy is lowered? Well, since I used it against Dark Moon? Well, the other four Robot ma not Robot Masters, Star Droids are in space, so their weapon energy won't be recovered. For which is kind of a pain in the ass. Do I get hit? Oh yeah, of course I got hit by that fucking thing. Fuck you, asshole. Hold on for a minute. Dun, 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 dun. I think there's a ball in me here. No, not yet. Oh. Uh-oh, I can't... Oh, I forgot to mention one mechanic. Fuck! One mechanic of this level... On the outside, you have less gravity, but when you're inside, you have normal gravity. I'm gonna kill this guy very easy, very carefully. Not like that, Einstein! So let's time to jump. This- <clears throat> That room's gonna be a pain in the fucking balls to get past. So I'll just kill you like this, grab another pea chip so I can get the next upgrade, the clobber hand. Oh god, not this enemy. Not this enemy. So safe state. I think I get a cooler shot. So let's shoot this crab. Good. Those enemies are pretty fucking annoying. Those enemies are pretty fucking annoying, and thank you, Thunder Joe, for giving me a one-up. Oh, not this fucker. It's basically a bouncing ball. Oh, and he's really freaking annoying. There's a special item you can find in this area, but you need Pluto's weapon, the brake dash. So let's switch to the power glove. Power Glove, a really shitty material, a really shitty accessory for the NES. Yeah, to make that joke. Oh, not this bee again. Oh, it's not the exploding bee. And here's an example of how the Power uh, the Magnet Hand works. Or I probably showed it in the other video. Dun 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 from Portal 2. I can't... Well, I'm going crazy again, singing-wise. The reason I'm recording this right now is I almost fell to my death. But how can you fall in space is beyond me. Well, the reason I'm recording this now is because, well, I have episodes 1 through 3 uh, uploading on YouTube. And that prick usually gives me trouble during the off recording. Oh no! There's a max energy. First I gotta get rid of this prick. Oh no, there's a max energy and such. What am I to do? What am I to do about this predicament? Magnet hand. I think... I hope I didn't miss the jewel. Or can I kill this... This idiot? Leave me alone, hammerhead. Yep, 
No more annoying crab. Fucking hammerhead. Sorry if I'm not tall. King at all. I really don't have stuff to talk about. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm a little pissed off from yesterday. Okay, it's August the 3rd, because I don't know when this video is going to get uploaded, because I got an email from Steam. Came the service I use uh, for my games and such. They said that Fallout 1 and 2 were on sale. Those were the games on my wish list. Oh, shit. Those two games were on my wish list, and falling from it. I got a save state. Because I think this is where one of the jewels are. Da -da. I think it's in this room. Nope. It's just an So fuck it, I'm going up there. I really hope this is the right way. Nope, I went the wrong fucking way. What the hell? I'm gonna keep any shit I got. Uh, yeah, you need the deep digger in order to get that item. Yeah, it's the deep, deep digger, but that's Mercury. Not Mercury. That's Uranus' weapon. Dun, 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 fuck you! You know what? I'm done fucking with you. You are an asshole in space. Oh, there's grace to be killed by me. Cause you're a fucking asshole. I almost died in this space. Oh, now I remember it's supposed to be in this area because there's a giant cliff. There's a giant gap, and I need to get rid of that idiot before he gives me hell. So, gra whoop. so grab this, and I get the oval jewel. Only, only three more jewels, and I can get half. My special weapons will cost half energy. See. And, of course, I get hit by that. But one thing I don't un understand about this enemy... You're directly under the fucking attack. And yet, you get hit. So, let's save state. Oh, another one of these ball enemies. No, these ball enemies almost remind me of, uh... The boss in Mario Zone in uh, Super Mario Land 2, aka the Three Bad Pigs. So I think they're called the Three Bad Pigs. First things first, since I have no confidence that I'm going to survive this fight, energy tank. I'm going to equip the uh, Phoenix's weapon, the bubble bomb. So save state. And here's the Birdman himself. So the bubble bomb is supposed to hurt him because he's in the ceiling and such. Then you try. The reason I say he's kind of like Storm Eagle and Shade Man's ancestor is because he's wearing a bird suit, but he does that lunge attack like Shade Man. Fuck, that hurts. Eat bubble, Bird Brain. What? One thing that lightning does a fuck ton of damage. And yes, I beat Jupiter with light with a water weapon, even though he's a thunder enemy. Makes no fucking sense, right? So let's see. So, so we get the electric shock. I gotta turn my iPod touch back on because I gotta remember where, where to find the octagonal crystal. So the electric shock is basically an electric whip that shoots out of Mega Man's hands. It almost looks like a bunch of wires and such. And we head back to Dr. Light's laboratory because he has better news. Dr. Light! I found this crystal on the planet. You better analyze it. Let me see. Well, this is crystal seems to be the energy source used by that planet and Jin civilization. Before these, I can make an item that will reduce the energy consumption of your special weapons. I have. I assure you there are similar crystals like this on other planets, too. 
collect all four crystals and bring them back to the lab. Good luck. And now we have another thing to do. Which is... Oh, by the way, after you defeat a star droid, you see this icon over their head. That's if you get the jewel. That's the oval jewel. So we need to head to Saturn's area. And this is completely blind to me. And one fun, weird fact about this boss. According to one of the cards in... Uh, not cards. CDs in... Uh, I forgot. In Mega Man Base... Saturn hates video games. So let's... Let me just check. Yes. Damn it. I fucking hate when I do this shit like that. And Saturn seems to be taken akin with uh, Gravity Man because he has, gra he has these weird switches that alter the gravity, which makes these hammerhead enemies' attacks not completely dangerous. Just... So, I think this is one of the rooms I have to go to. Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes, I did make it. What the hell? And here's the next crystal. The octagonal crystal. So, two down, two to go. I don't get the point of those enemies. And that was extremely dangerous. So let's get the magnet hand and... MINE! So let's kill these pricks again. These hammerhead idiots again. Come on, hammerhead. Come on, come on. Fuck it, I'm taking a hit anyway because I'm not concerned on doing a perfect run of this stage. Ah, oh, fucking accordion! You'll be playing polka in hell now, motherfucker! Ha ha ha! I had to do that dumbass joke. Now this is very concerning because you have to use the gravities and such. Oh no, no! Screw it, you're not worth my efforts! Uh, that's good, so safe state. Let's snag myself a free life. And I get five lives. I'm doing good on lives, mostly because I'm safe stating like a motherfucker. Uh. And... Oh, this looks dangerous. This looks extremely dangerous. That's why it looks extremely dangerous. I really hate that enemy because now I know what he does. He lowers the... He slows down time. Come on, let me kill you. Jump. Jump. Good. Uh, hey, Eddie. Got anything useful for me? Thank you, Eddie. That makes up for the last time you gave me a shit item. I'm gonna really get hit by those rocks, aren't I? Nope. Good. Because I really hate this enemy. This is why I said it's necessary to get the magnet hand and over the clobber hand. I had to lower the volume because I can't hear myself. Because it'll save you a load of trouble. And what's the deal with this enemy? Whatever he is, I gotta get rid of him. Oh no, I can't grab it. Yoink! Oh, fuck you, you're not worth the trouble. Hold on from it. Let me just get the Mercury item. And that really fucked me over. Will there be another enemy? Hey, it's a Spiny Met. They look like Spinies. These, as in not the Spinies from Mario, as in those one Spiny enemies. Safe state. Oh, this is evil. That's fucking evil. That's fucking evil. I'm gonna get hit. No, I did not get hit, so... Dun, 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 dun. 
Bucky, you're not worth my trouble. Because I don't want to fuck with you. So let's see. Save state, and I need to get the Jupiter weapon because... I don't know if to fight Saturn, and not the crappy Sega system that led to uh, Sega's demise in the console business. Anyway, one of the card things he said he hates video games. You fucker. I don't care if I was being reckless, but Jupiter's piss easy. Basically, he slides, he throws his ring like Ring Man. I really hate that motherfucker from Mega Man 4. And he'll use the ring to create a black hole to suck you in. But with Jupiter's weapon, he's pathetic. And for our troubles, we get... The Black Hole. Thing to be replaced by the Black Hole Bomb in Mega Man 9, which I'm not going to do a playthrough of because that game's fucking difficult. And for our troubles, we also get Rush Jet. So, let's see if I can buy anything at Dr. Light's Laboratory. I have 120, I have 146. Hey, Dr. Light. Oh, Mega Man. Did you bring back the pea chips? So, the weapon tank does that. Reflexes your special weapon energy. This, which looks like uh, cell phone signals uh, going sideways, actually replenishes all your energy. I'm not going to get that. Instead, I'm going to get this. It's the energy equalizer. Yes, I want this item. Because I'm not interested in getting the clobber hand right yet. Yes, I'm finished, Dr. Light. Good luck, Mega Man. So, after that, next episode we'll take on Pluto and Uranus. But not with a thermometer, if you get what I'm saying. Goodbye, everyone. And remember, don't be like Saturn, play video games.